the angelus in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the angel of the lord declared unto mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray o forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord amen May the divine assistance remain always with us amen May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen Let's all rise. We are gathering together unto Him. We are gathering together unto Him. Unto Him shall the gathering of the people be. We are gathering together unto Him. We are singing together unto Him. We are singing together unto Him. Unto, unto Him shall the singing of the people be. We are singing together unto Him. During this Eucharist, let's pray for the soul of Anthony Gonzalez, 70 Mass. Along with this intention, let's pray for all our intentions, those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, in our daily lives, we are invited to acknowledge our own senses which are connecting to the world. And those senses are to be guided by the mind and the heart. Today, Jesus calls on the Pharisees and the scribes 
not to harden their hearts and to be sensitive to the through the ears through the eyes and through the uh, way of service towards the people who are in need so only when our senses are connected to the people around us we connect ourselves to the reality of the world and that also helps us to connect ourselves to god so during this eucharist let's pray that we may grow closer to god by being godly and especially imitating jesus in his mission that we may accomplish for the times that we have failed let's ask pardon and forgiveness and ask god to grant us the grace to forgive one another With a contrite us, let's all pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, best men, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy on us praise and mercy praise Let us pray. O oh God, who oh teach us that you abide in our hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Happy the man who stands firm when trials come. He has proved himself and will win the prize of life, the crown that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Never, when you have been tempted, say, God sent the temptation. God cannot be tempted to do anything wrong, and He does not tempt anybody. Everyone who is tempted is attracted and seduced by his own wrong desire. Then the desire conceives and gives birth to sin, and when sin is fully grown, it too has a child, and the child is death. Make no mistake about this, my dear brothers. It is all that is good, everything that is perfect, which is given us from above. It comes down from the Father of all light. With Him there is no such thing as alteration, no shadow of a change. By His own choice, He made us His children, by the message of the truth, so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he had created. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response, happy the man whom you teach, O Lord. Kindly repeat. Happy, Happy the man whom you teach, O Lord. Lord. Happy the man whom you teach, O Lord, whom you train by means of your law. To him you give peace in evil days. Our response, Happy, Happy the, the man, man whom you teach, O Lord. Lord. The Lord will not abandon his people, 
nor forsake those who are his own. For judgment shall again be just, and all through hearts shall uphold it. Our response, Happy, Happy the, the man, man whom you teach, O Lord. Lord. When I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy, Lord, holds me up. When cares increase in my heart, your consolation calms my soul. Our response, Happy, Happy the, the man, man whom you teach, O Lord. Lord. Kindly rise for the gospel. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing His praise, sing His praise, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Open our heart, O Lord. To accept the words of your son. Sing his praise. Sing his praise. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to take any food and they had only one loaf with them in the boat then jesus gave them this warning keep your eyes open be on your guard against the yeast of the pharisees and the yeast of Herod. and they said to one another it is because we have no bread and jesus knew it and he said to them why are you talking about having no bread? Do you not understand? Do you not at understand? Have you no perception? Are your minds closed? Have you eyes that do not see? Ears that do not hear? Or do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves among the five thousand, how many baskets full of scraps did you collect? They answered to have. And when I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many baskets full of scraps did you collect? And they answered seven. Then he said to them, Are you still without perception? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the olden times, when there were no clocks, no watches, people would guess the time according to the sunlight that fell on the particular place. But we were not sure whether they were exact then the clock came it helped the human person to calculate the days and also nights in a perfect way and thereafter when it comes to every four years we have the leap year and this is a leap year which is uh, having one day extra so many of us think that this time is not good because there are many people saying that it is a not auspicious year and it's not good to get married or do anything which is very uh, constructive. But what is the time that which is given to us? Jesus speaks about the time and that time is auspicious in every moment. The sign that he speaks about in yesterday's gospel, he also continues that same reflection in today's gospel. And that sign is something which is being visibly given to the people by multiplying the loaves and multiply both for the 4,000 and 5,000. He gives his uh, power, the power of God being displayed in these miracles, but people still stuck to the material things. That's why he was worried that these people are not able to look at the things beyond the world. 
because in many a times we get attached to the things of this world and then we are led astray from the actual goal that we have that is god is our goal and if you have to reach god we need to look at the words which are spoken by jesus we need to celebrate the sacrament which is being beautifully instituted by our lord and we need to be prayerful where we are able to build our lives with virtue that will help us to grow closer to god which will help us also to see our inner person the soul's connection to god's reality so as we celebrate this eucharist let us invoke god's blessing that we may keep in touch with the reality that god dwells within us and god's being is around us let's pray for this grace on the pattern with the and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for the good and will of all his holy church may this oblation o lord we pray cleanse and renew us and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through christ our lord the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we exclaim holy 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 lord holy god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest hosanna font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and break her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and also gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, the spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will ever reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let's all pray the Jubilee prayer. Father in Father heaven, heaven, may the faith you have given us in our Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, are yearning for the treasures of heaven. 
May the same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. Through you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen. I come before you today And there's just one thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm, I'll bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank. Navinas to St. Anthony, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O white lily of purity, sublime example of poverty, true mirror of humility, resplendent star of sanctity, O glorious St. Anthony, who didst enjoy the sweet privilege of receiving into thy arms the infant Jesus, I beseech thee, to take me under thy powerful protection, thou, in whom the power of working miracles shine forth among the other gifts of God. Have pity upon me and come to my aid in this my great need. We kindly make our petitions over here. Thanksgiving. Cleanse my heart from every disorderly affection. Obtain for me a true contrition for my sins and a great love of God and of my neighbor, that serving God faithfully in this life, I may come to praise, enjoy, and bless him eternally with thee in paradise. Amen. Pray for us, St. Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Most merciful Jesus, who has glorified in an admirable manner thy holy confessor, St. Anthony, by continued miracles, give us thy grace to feel assured that we shall obtain through his intercession and merits what we ask in confidence. We make this prayer to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you from above. May he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be a protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell 
Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.